Okay, a couple of students wanted more practice on Fun. tangent lines. So uh, here we go. Um, what I want you to do is I want you to work this out. You can actually download this. It's in the uh, class notes mod module. You can download this. In yeah. so, so go ahead, hit the, hit the pause button, and then we'll go over it, okay? Okay, let's start. Uh, wait a second. Uh, according to YouTube, not everyone has hit the pause button and gone over it. So let's try it one more time. Pause hit button. Work it on your own, and then we'll go over it, okay? Okay, that's much better. Thank you. All right, so um, in this case, the first thing you want to do, approximate the slope of the secant line. So, uh, the, the, you're using the graph here. You're usually using the graph to do this. So you're going to plot the point. Now, what is that point, x equal 1? I don't know. It's either 3.7 or 3.8. I'm going to say 3.8, approximately. And... Um, and the y coordinate there looks like about four. So this this is the point. Uh, one, uh, this is the point one comma three point eight, and this is the point two comma four. That's what I'm going to say. So the secant line goes from here to there. So I get a slope about point two. Now what they want you to do is draw the tangent line at x equal one as best you can. Now remember when you draw the tangent line, try to make it so it has the same slope as the curve does there. And then once you do that, you're going to want to find the slope of that. We talked about this in class. You don't want to pick points really close together because you, you really can't read them that well. It's better to pick points far apart and easy to read. That looks like it goes through about 6, 6. Uh, that would have been a good point too over here. Anyway, so once you get those two points, you can compute the slope. It looks like it's about 0.44. This is not exact, right? This is approximate. Then what I ask you to do is use the table feature. So what you're going to do is you're going to, let's see, we're going to enter, we're going to enter the function, right? The, the, there's the function. Now, to use the table feature to find the slope of the secant line, this is where you have to enter this expression right here. So let, let's go through that again. Uh, uh, y2, you're going to hit uh, parenthesis, y1 of x, remember you go vers, over to y bears, hit enter twice, and that pastes it on there, of x, minus y1 of 1. What we're finding is the slope of the secant line from 1 to x, right? That's what this is, the slope of the secant line from 1 to x. So bears, y bears, hit enter twice, y1 of 1. I'm going to ask you to do this on Monday, so make sure you're able to do this divided by, make sure you use divided by, uh, parentheses x minus 1. Here's a little tip. You might want to have this entered in your TI on Monday because um, because you may have to alter it, obviously, but it, it's already more or less there. You can just edit it down. So, okay, so there there's the expression. Now, I don't really want to have y1 involved in my uh, table, so I'm going to disengage it. Remember how to do that? You don't have to do this, but I'm going to hit the enter button. That way it won't appear. So I'm gonna just gonna pick these these values here. If you hit now before you hit uh, table, make sure that it's on ask here. Hit second table setup. Make sure it's on ask. It looks like it still is. So now hit second table, and there's the table. Now we could delete some of this stuff if you want. So I want the slope of the secant line from from one to two. So if you hit two here, 0.25. Okay, that looks good and then you hit 1.5, 1, 1. it's finding the slope of the secant line. Everyone see what, what's going on? We're, we're actually finding the slope of the secant line as, as this second point gets closer and closer to 1. We're finding the slope of the secant line. It's really nice. It's accurate, isn't it? It's exact. Well, it might be rounded. Let's go to 1.1 1. 1 and 1.01, 1. and you get the other values that I got here. Now, the next part is... Uh, use the table feature to guess what the slope is. Well, why stop now? Why not get really, really close to 1? Like, how about how about 1.0001? Looks like it's getting close. And it looks to me, I'm going to go on a limb here and say this is this is getting close to 1 half. 0.5 is what I'm going to guess at. By the way, you should also pick points on the other side of 1, too. 0 0.999, 0 0.99999. It should, it should be getting close to 1 on both sides. Sure enough, it is. All right, so so that's that's what that's what we get. Now find the equation of the tangent line. Well, look if the slope is one half, what is the y? Now the, the rest is a, a the algebra problem. If the slope is one half, when you plug in one into for x, you can compute the y coordinate. I get fifteen over four. Check me on that. 
So then there you go. There, there's, there's the equation of the tangent line. And here is the fun part. You can actually, I'm not going to graph this. I'm going to, I'm going to make sure it graphs the function. So make sure that that's um, engaged. And then I'm going to disengage this. I'm also going to enter the, um, the tangent line, which was, what was it again? It was, it was one half x, 0.5x plus 13 over 4, plus 13 divided by 4. Whoops, divided by, divided by 4. There, there are those two graphs. Now, so let, let's graph them both on the same coordinate system. I'm going to pick a window like, let's just go zoom standard. How about that? Whoops, zoom standard. That's not a bad window. So if you hit enter, you see you've got the graph of the function and the graph of the tangent. Sure enough, it looks like it's tangent when x is 1. So here we go. Hit the trace button. Get x close, close to 1. And we're going to zoom in a little bit. Get close to 1 and then hit zoom in. Let's see what it looks like as we get closer. What do you think is going to happen? Uh, there's the graph of the function. There's the tangent line. You see how, it's, how the tangent line and the function are, are pretty much behaving like the same thing. Anyway, let, let's zoom in again. Zoom in. They're looking very similar, aren't they? The tangent line, here is the key idea. The tangent line is the line that has the same um, slope as the graph does at that point. So what, what's so special? See how they almost look the same? In fact, if you zoom in one more time, you can probably make them look like the same line. That's the whole idea. The tangent line is a very good approximation to the function if, if x is close to that number one. Isn't that incredible? I know you'd like that. I, I, think, I, think, I, I also think that's pretty cool. All right, that's it, you guys. Talk to you later. Have a good weekend. Bye.